Hey Franklin Square, it's Lou Serrano and I want to share with you some tricks that you can do at home. You can share it with your friends, your family, your business associates. These are some really simple tricks, but they're actually pretty amazing. The first one is what I call the magnetic pencil. So you take a pencil, you give it a little static electricity just like this, and when you put it on your hand like this, it'll actually stick to your hand. See that? It sticks to your hand. And this is what's called the magnetic pencil. You take your thumb, you put it, you move it like this, and it's stuck. Now the secret is, that's what you do. <laughs> you have your fingers wrapped around your wrist, you, you have your index finger sticking out, and you're just using your finger to keep that pencil there. So you grab your wrist, you immediately stick out your finger, and that's what it looks like from your side. But to the audience, it looks like it's magnetized to your hand. Now, here, here is the advanced version of the magnetized pencil. One bit more time, we give it a little static electricity. And this time, it still looks the same, looks the same from this side as well. But, you can remove your hand and it still remains magnetized. How is that possible? Well, that's because we have an extra pencil. See that? We have an extra pencil. I, you have to have a, a wristband or some sort of um, watch or something like that. You stick a pencil in there. You take your pencil, you stick it in between the pencil and your hand. So from this side, you can actually, you can actually show from this side the, the original version. But on this side, you can remove it. It looks like it's magnetized and that's because we have the other pencil in the wristband. And that is the magnetized pencil. And this is George Washington on the $1 bill. It is said that George Washington used to like to stand on his head. So we're going to make George Washington stand on his head, uh, but we're not going to physically turn him over like this. Instead, I'm just going to fold the bill three times. I'm going to fold it once, fold it twice, fold it three times. I snap my finger. When I unfold the bill, George Washington is now standing on his head. He's now standing on his head. How is that possible? I will show you. Take your dollar bill, have the George Washington facing away from you. You're gonna fold the bill away from you, from left to right, from left to right. And you're gonna give it a nice crease like this. You're then gonna fold it from the bottom to the top and you fold away from you. So you're gonna fold away like this. Fold away from you from the bottom to the top and give that a crease. So that's uh, fold number two. You're then gonna fold from left to right away from you. You're gonna fold this way. Fold it this way, and that's fold number three. You snap your finger for a dramatic impact. When you unfold the bill, you're gonna unfold it a little bit differently. You should be looking at the number one facing you. So you're going to fold it towards you. You're gonna unfold that, the number one towards you from right to left. You're then gonna fold away from you the, the piece that's furthest away from you from the top to the bottom, and then from left to right, and George Washington will be standing on his head. If you didn't follow along, all you have to do is rewind the video and you'll see exactly how this works. Okay, this is the jumping rubber band, that's right. So we're gonna take a rubber band or a, a, a hair ties like this. I'm gonna wrap it around our first two fingers just like this. And the rubber band is going to jump from these two fingers to those two fingers. Watch as it jumps from these two fingers to those two fingers on the count of three. One, two, three. Just like that. I'll do it one more time so you can follow along. From these two fingers to those two fingers, on the count of three, one, two, three, and it jumps. And I will show you the secret to the jumping rubber band. So you take your rubber band, you wrap it around your first two fingers just like this. You're gonna pull that rubber band and you wrap your fingers into the rubber band so that the rubber band goes around your fingernails just like this. So once again, you have it here, you're gonna pull out like this, you wrap your fingers into the rubber band so that the rubber band goes around the fingernails, just like this. From this side, it looks like it's just going around the two fingers. From this side here, you can see that it's going around all four fingers. When you open this up slowly, you will see that it automatically jumps from the two fingers to the next two fingers. So one more time, you pull it out, wrap your fingers around so that the rubber band goes around your fingernails. You show this to the audience, you count to three, one, two, three. When you count to three, you want to open it up and then close it immediately. So that way, it looks like it's just jumping from those two fingers to the next. And that is the jumping rubber band again. You can rewatch the video to see how exactly how I, how I did that. 
enjoy. It was a pleasure performing for everybody today and have a wonderful April Fool's Day. <laughs>